good job. Hey. Hey. Yeah, Lucy. Good job, Katie. Very good entertainment. Now for this project, you're going to need two sheets of square paper. You can use origami paper. I'm using six inch by six inch origami paper, or you can use uh, any other kind of paper that you've cut into squares. You can use newspaper, scrap paper, old homework assignments. It doesn't matter. This is the finished product that we're going to be making today. As you can see, mine is blue on the back, and then it has blue and yellow triangles on the front. So I'm going to set that aside. So what we want to do first is fold each square into thirds. Now I'm going to do the yellow one first, so let me get the blue one out of here. Now I want the yellow on the outside, so I'm going to fold once, and just try to line it up as precisely as I can get. But it doesn't have to be perfect. This is going to be a toy. It's meant to be used. It's meant to be thrown around and wrinkled up. So it's not, it doesn't need to be perfect. So now I've got one sheet into thirds. Now I'm going to take my second sheet. It's, I want it to be blue on the outside. So I'm going to take and fold it again into thirds. That may be a little far up. Let's see. A little bit. So if I want to adjust, I can always adjust. It's Again, it's not a big deal. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so now I have two pieces of paper folded into thirds. Now, now I, I want to decide which side I want to be the plain color. So on this one, I've picked blue. But on this one, I think I'm going to make it the yellow instead. So I'm going to take this, set this aside, and we're going to fold this edge to this edge. But we're not going to fold it quite all the way up. We want a little gap, little tiny gap, as you can see there, like just a little bit less than a quarter of an inch. Now I'm going to do the same thing to this side this, to this piece of paper, but I'm going to leave even less room. So this side to this side. But I'm going to leave just a little gap. Now I don't want to go over like that. I want to leave just a little gap, but a smaller gap than this one because this one is going to wrap around. It needs a little bit more room. So I make that, that's a nice triangle. Okay, now I'm going to take this one and fold this side to this side. So I fold this corner down again, I make my nice triangle, and I want that little tiny quarter of an inch gap so that it has room to wrap around. Nice. I'm going to do the exact same thing to this one. Little tiny less than a quarter of an inch gap at the bottom. There, so that's what I have so far. As you can see, the gap between this edge and this edge is smaller than this edge. 
to that edge. That's just going to make things a little bit easier to assemble. Now, to make it even easier to assemble later, what we're going to do is going to fold right along this edge, fold this in. And then do the same thing to the other side so that it's now it's going to look like a square. There we go. Okay, and just let that open back up. And we're going to do the exact same thing to the blue paper. So we're going to fold that in again. This it's not completely necessary. It's just going to make things easier down the line, and we like to make things easier for ourselves. We can save ourselves some some pain further on down the line, then we're going to do that. Okay, so I've said that I wanted this one to be on the outside, and that's why I left that little extra space right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my inside part and set it on top of my outside part. Now, as you can see, it kind of looks like a ninja star right now. Look at that. And because the yellow is on the outside, we need to wrap that flap around first. You can start here or here, it doesn't matter. Now, I'm going to start over here because we're going to go clockwise. Fold the flap in. Fold the next flap in. Just going clockwise all the way around here. Fold the next flap in. And now this flap, we're going to tuck right into this little pocket. You can see that raised up right there. So we're going to raise that up a little bit so we have room to tuck that in. And I'm going to just take that, tuck that right in. And just like that, some very easy origami, we have our dakchi. Just like that. Okay. That looks just like the other one that I made earlier. And once you have some of these, you are ready to play Dakchi. Let's go. All right, so everyone hold up their Dakchi. We are holding Dakchi and we are playing the game of Dakchi. We're gonna throw these as hard as we can and try to flip these Dakchi over. Oh, and if you flip it over like that, wow! Good job, Lucy. Yay. She gets to keep that one. And we go until they're all gone. Whoa! Katie's turn, Katie's turn. Ah, oh, I almost said it. You can do it, you can do it.